welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Hostel League, Round of 16, Group B, the final match between Jedi 1 and Fisheye. In the upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom right, we have Jedi 1 starting as the purple Protoss. Fisheye on the verge of another round of 8 berth. Jedi 1 on the edge of elimination. If he cannot take this match, this is PvP. Fisheye has shown a lot of strength in his PvP up to this stage, and this is going to be on Good Night, which is a more macro-oriented map. In in that play style, I also am going to have to favor Fisheye, so Jedi One's going to have his work cut out for him. We'll see what he opts for. Being that it's a four-player map, going for and it's also decent rush distances. I think opening up for a two gate would be extremely risky. But I almost feel like if you're going for more of the standard long-term play, Fisheye is so brutally strong in that style of play. So I don't know what you do. Maybe you go for a one gate obs, try to get a quick economic jump on your opponent play from there. Thing is, Jedi 1's no slouch either. He can pull games from Fisheye. We've seen it before. So we'll see how it how it turns out. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm casting. I'm still in Hasu League. BSL Season 15 has already started. Go ahead and check out the ladder if you haven't already. It's going to be Continental Championships this time. So it should be pretty fun. We do have a gateway for both players. Looks like it's dead even build orders. Although, I think it was a little bit of an earlier pylon. Maybe a little bit later of a pylon, but Fisheye is just up half a probe somehow. Half a probe being that it finished. It looks like he's going to scout the upper left-hand corner first. In the meantime, Jedi 1 is keeping his probes in base, and this is going to give him an accelerated build order on these maps that have the additional mint wall, that have mineral patches. Oftentimes, sending out a later probe scout can give you a big jump on any build order you're attempting to execute. Looks like we're seeing a second pylon towards the front. No second pylon, but a quick assimilator here. For fish eyes, so I almost wonder if this is in a quick uh, cybernetic score as well. Jedi one also grabbing his assimilator, but I'm also uh, and actually scouting middle of the map, so I was double checking to make sure that fish eye wasn't going for a two gate versus him. Maybe because he's thinking about playing, so he does have the first zealot out. Maybe he wants to get additional pressure with that zealot. That zealot coming out a little bit later, so it's not going to be able to. It's not going to be going up against a dragoon only. Fish eye is unfortunately going to get last scout. Jedi 1 sneaking in the base is going to be able to go ahead and meander up, see the cybernetic score, see the simulator, realizes that it's basically equivalent build orders at this stage. He's holding the ramp. Now, there is an opportunity for him to go ahead and deny scout, which would be a huge advantage. Fisheye actually getting manor pylon by Jedi 1's probes. It looks like the Zealots are already working on it, but so a little bit of an economic lead for Jedi 1 out of that. And on top of that, Jedi 1 might be able to pick off this probe scout, depending on how micro works out, which would be a big, big advantage. So, Manor Pylon's cleaned up. Slowed Fisheye's economy down just a little bit. You can see that probe leading that upper right-hand corner paying off. The probe able to sneak through. The probe trying to do some blockade. That's really damaged this probe. And now, Jedi 1, where he might have been thinking about skipping range, showing range... The probe going to scoot around the corner. On the opposite side, no range yet for Fisheye. He does have an initial Dragoon. It looks like he went for a second Dragoon before opting for range or anything those, along those lines. And because he's microing this probe very carefully, it looks like he's missing a little bit of micro uh, here and there. Looks like he is opting for a Citadel of a Dune rather than Dragoon range. So he's thinking going of going for DT. However, looks like Jedi 1 already has his robotics facility down. He's going two gate robo, so playing a very, very safe build. Is also double checking every corner for proxies or things along those lines. He doesn't want to, he's being very diligent with all of his scouting. So right now, I think Jedi 1 going for the safer build. He's going to end up ahead overall in this match because, first of all, he's going to have Dragoon range much earlier, which means his Dragoons are going to hit all the harder. Jedi 1's going for DT which should be scouted unless Jedi 1 makes the critical mistake of going robotics facility, or sorry, robotic support bay first, but I don't think he's going to at this stage. I think he is going to open up Observer here. But even if he does go, I believe the timing is such that he'll still be okay. But there's the robot, there's the observatory. Fisheye can still maybe get an expansion with the Dark Templar. But his Dragoons, first of all, he's going to be behind in gate count. His Dragoons are... Not going to, I mean, he still isn't researched range. So Jedi 1's going to have a lot of advantages. He's going to be much safer as soon as he has two observers out. 
and taking his own natural expansion. Maybe something else can happen here. Maybe we can get some magic where the DTs are able to sneak through absolutely everything. But as things stand, it looks like Jedi 1 is going to be able to hold. The probe trying to sneak by sees a photon cannon warping in. And if you see a photon cannon like that, I think he, and just three Dragoons on the front, I think he has to know that potentially this is going to be Dark Templar. So let's see if he moves these Dragoons off or if he just kind of keeps them lumped right there. Dark Templar now making their way this direction. Shuttle is up. Robotic Support Beta follow. So Jedi 1's also going to have the option of being aggressive and actually might even be able, between just this army and this Observer, if he picks up this first Dark Templar, might even be able to just finish things off. So moving just, yeah, and he's keeping this Observer right alongside this army. Sees it coming. And the Dark Templar not even going to be able to sneak away to provide a little bit of map control. Jedi 1 pouncing on it perfectly. So now a natural expansion is coming up. You have two cannons. Dragoons without range and only a single gateway. A high Templar being built, but no Psy Storm. A second Dark Templar making its way across, but this looks like Jedi 1 is in firm control of this match. Has the shuttle, has the reaver, and I would not be shocked once the second Dark Templar meanders up. And there's a second Observer out if Jedi 1, with just a single reaver and shuttle, opts to go ahead and get aggressive. But he's going to have a much more powerful army. If he just sits on his hands, he could end up losing this match, but... Odds are, I think he's going to attack into this and easily going to be able to dispatch whatever's there. So, superior army, superior troops, second observer is going to come out momentarily. This Dark Templar waiting to potentially go for a backstab. Looks like that two zealots going to scoop up as well, so it could be a two pronged attack. Now, this observer just needs to pin to the corner. This Dark Templar sneaking through. Oh, this might be an opportunity for Fisheye. The Jedi one leave his front gate open. So the Observer's going to pop out. Two Dragoons are going to pop out alongside, but there still might be opportunity for this Dark Templar to get something done. He was able to take out that probe to the natural expansion. He misses it. So the Dark Templar is going to be able to potentially get some additional probe kills in the main. Fisheye's already up a lot of probes. And not that Jedi one wasn't already in a situation where he needed to do some damage. It looks like he dropped the Reaver at the natural expansion, able to get some damage there. The Zealot's grouping up. Actually, might want to scoop this Reaver back up and bring it back towards the front. Just knock some of those cannons down. The Zealot's working on some Dragoons in that back corner. The Dark Templar looks like it's been dispatched in Jedi 1's main, but Jedi 1 lost a lot of probes in that. Was potentially a bit distracted, so now he's somewhat all in. He's down to 18 probes compared to the 30 of Fisheye. Again, he has a much larger army, but he needs to hurry up, get this Reaver on the front, Take these cannons down and push through. But now he's in a race against Psystorm. And Psystorm might have already been researched. So at the end of all this, it's very possible that Fisheye is safe and secure. Has his natural expansion up and might be marching to the finals. Let's see. The High Temple are going to sneak out. Able to get a little bit of that shuttle. But the thing is, is he's got one more storm to work with. And if he doesn't get massive damage done with this storm... Potentially, that's going to be game. There's just going to be overwhelming forces. The shuttle taking a lot of damage. Jedi 1 not doing the best job babysitting it. That is going to open up a side storm over some of these troops, particularly the Reaver. But this is going to be, yeah, an overwhelming attack force from here. Jedi 1 moving in, targeting down what's left. Another side storm catching a lot of the Dragoons. But there's just too many Dragoons here. Not enough cannons. Not enough High Templar. So now this natural expansion completely breached. High Templar waiting up on that ridge, and Jedi 1 just going to march all the way in. He can wipe out everything. Weird little slide on that probe there along the side of the Nexus. He just needs to march up this ramp. The probe's trying to blockade the ramp to buy some time, but Jedi 1 still has five Dragoons. He needs to move with what he's got, though. Otherwise, Fisheye eventually will catch up a huge shot on those probes. And now you got three gateways running. you got five Dragoons in and a Reaver on the edge. And Jedi 1 needs to close this out. He needs to make sure he keeps microwing all the troops here. Wipe out these gateways or take down some pylons or something like this. Still a high Templar. Templar is now wiped out. So Jedi 1 is in a... There's GG from Fisheye. Yeah, able to close it out working on the gateways. Fisheye takes game two and even announces the uh, game and pass for the next match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.